Hey guys, Mallory here. Welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a 90s makeup look. This is it. It is kind of 90s grunge, but done in a very modern, current way, if you will. So I've got my oversized grungy Henley on. So as you can tell, the look is very warm, very earth toned and rusty and just, just brown. It's just brown, brown eyeliner, brown lips, brown 90s. So if anyone can do the 90s, it's me because I grew up in the 90s. My first lipstick or makeup product ever was a dark chocolate brown lipstick from Wet n Wild. And I'm pretty sure this is the makeup look that I did like every day in grade five. I was that good. Joking. So today's video is sponsored by Armani Beauty. I'm going to be featuring their brand new Armani Beauty Ecstasy Shine lipsticks. These are amazing. I live for sheer lipsticks because they wear throughout the day so beautifully. They, when they fade off, they don't fade off like crusty or patchy or weird. They just fade off beautifully. And these are very much like a lip balm when they are applied, but they are super high shine like a lip gloss and they add a beautiful touch of color. And they're just basically the all-in-one lip product for me because they moisturize, they add color, they add shine, they make you feel like you're wearing nothing. They're just amazing. So if you guys want to check out how I put this 90s look together, then keep on watching. Okay, so first we're gonna start with priming the skin, obvi. So today I'm using the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. This stuff smells so good. I feel like being a mom and always being tired. This stuff is the best. So now we're going to use our Giorgio Armani Luminous Silk Foundation. The shade I'm using is number four, and I'm going to be using it with the Giorgio Armani Foundation Brush here. This stuff makes your skin look so freaking beautiful. It's not even funny. So dewy and healthy and just natural looking, nothing cakey, nothing crazy, which is perfect for me because I don't like to look cakey. So I'm just using the brush to apply it in downward strokes. You don't wanna do upward strokes because that will just bring out your baby hairs and just make it not not nice, not smooth. So because we're going for that 90s supermodel look, we want to keep our skin looking very natural because supermodels have naturally beautiful skin, unlike the rest of us common folk. This brush is so soft. This is my first time using it and I like it. So this foundation is buildable. So if you think you need a little more coverage, you can do that without it looking like you builded it up, you know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? So for concealer, I'm using the Urban Decay Naked Skin Concealer in Medium Light. This is just for areas that I have a little redness and need a little more coverage. So on my nose and on my chin. And then for under my eyes, I'm going to use the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer in the shade number nine, Neutral. And then whatever is left on the brush, I'm just going to pop down my nose just to kind of balance things. And now I'm going to set using the Kat Von D Locket as well, I think. 
No, just called Kat Von D setting powder in the shade translucent. Translucent. And now for bronzer, I'm using the Too Faced Tan de Soleil. No, Chocolate Soleil. So I'm just warming up my face, not really contouring because contouring wasn't really a thing. I'm sure it was for models when they did photo shoots and stuff, but we're gonna try and make it as like 90s application at home style as we can. Who am I kidding? Let's just go full millennial makeup where even like 12 year olds can do makeup and it's sad for me. So now for our blush, we're using the Giorgio Armani Cheek Fabric Sheer Blush in Daybreak. This packaging, I'm telling you, it's stunning. This blush just makes your skin looks so healthy and beautiful and not blush like, you know? I tend to go overboard with blush. Shh. So now for bras, again, I'm bras? So now for brows, I'm using the Armani Eye and Brow Maestro in the shade Mahogany. That's a sexy shade, if I do say so myself. And in the 90s, they either had super stick thin eyebrows or badass like bushy brows, like Cindy Crawford and Christy Turlington. So I'm going to try and go like in between nowadays and back then by still having some brow strokes in there but having it a little bit carved out. You can't really tell probably from where the camera is right now but I am trying to keep it looking Carved but natural. Is that a thing? So now for highlight, I'm using the Smashbox Spotlight Palette in Pearl. And I'm going to use the more golden shade here. I'm gonna try and hold back. I'm trying to hold back. Did I hold back? Kind of. So I feel like I need like a Christy Turlington button, kind of, not button, but like shaped nose. So I'm going to use my e.l.f. contour palette and this shade here, and I'm going to try and sculpt out a cute nose. Is that, is that cute? Is that cute? Okay, so finally getting to the eyes. Obviously, they're gonna be warm because that's what they did in the 90s. So I'm using my NYX Lid Lingerie Palette here. So my eyes are already primed with my concealer. So I'm gonna start out with this shade here and apply that into the crease as my transition shade. And I've already applied it because I forgot to zoom the lens in. So now I'm grabbing a smaller tapered blending brush and picking up this nice burnt orange shade here. And I'm applying that directly into the crease and blending into that transition shade. And 
And now using the same brush, I'm grabbing this chocolate brown and just deepening up and just deepening up that outer corner area, outer crease, if you will. So now I'm taking a small tapered blending brush and that same brown, and I'm just going to apply that to the outer V area. And remember, this look can be messy. It should be a little messy because the 90s were pretty messy. And now take your shader brush and this nice bone white shade, cream shade, nude shade, and apply this to the lid. And then grab that highlighter shade from the Spotlight palette again and just apply that into the inner corner. And now we're going to take a brown eyeliner and just smudge it all, make it grungy, go for it. Top and bottom and waterline and everything. So the pencil I'm using today is the Smashbox Always On Gel Pencil in Brood. And then smudge that out. And then do the same to the top. So now grab a smudging brush and that chocolate brown shade again and just go over top of that. Because it can never be too smoky. And now take that burnt orange shade and apply that just underneath. So now apply false lashes if you want. I'm not going to tell you how to live your life. So these lashes have no name because they are from my upcoming lash company. So now getting to the most 90s part of the look is the lipstick and it is this beautiful warm with a slight undertone of red brown from Giorgio Armani. It, it is the new Armani Beauty Ecstasy Shine Lip Color in the shade 200. So as you can see, this lipstick is so lightweight and buttery and super moisturizing and shiny. It feels so light on the lips but has such a high impact. And that is the finished look, you guys. Hope you enjoyed it. Okay guys, that is the finished look. I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I will see you next, <laughs> I will see you next time. Bye.